Uh, I mean, I'll come back to my uh, initial uh, topics. So uh, I was uh, at a part where uh, the energy, uh, uh, effects of enterprise energy on the climate. Uh, all right, I am here again. So uh, as the uh, populations and the uh, demands of energy continues, uh, you know, uh, the how much uh, fuel fossil fuel were burning. Uh, so all these uh, burning of fossil fuels are giving rise to uh, carbon compound and carbon, especially carbon dioxide. Uh, as you know, uh, as is it burned, it gives heat of the uh, ozone layer and it's increasing the greenhouse gases. And as uh, and as the uh, uh, development happenings uh, every day is increasing, so, and the population also keeps increasing, so uh, people start using appliances, cooling apparatus, and uh, factory uh, and uh, cooling industry. Let's say. Let's take it in the layman terms. So, all, if you start uh, using uh, the cooling te uh, techniques, uh, technology, you always uh, uh, gives out CFC gases, which is uh, which gives out which is one of the radicals for ozone gas formations. So, it always it always tends to contribute towards uh, uh, global warming. That's one of the effects of the energy crisis and uh, the population growth and uh, increasing uh, you know, development and uh, so for instance uh, look at, at the point uh, at the matrix uh, at which uh, energy industry is uh, common the first metric is that uh, the energy uh, the cost of uh, energy delivered to the consumer the second metric is that um, how, how how it can be uh, carbon emission can be reduced and the third metric is that you uh, uh, can develop new techniques to counteract uh, all these uh, uh, energy prices so um, okay friends uh, I've uh, taken a lot of uh, glances about the energy prices and this uh, uh, scenario uh, and we will have some looks on, upon, uh, upon the solutions how we can bring about the changes to counter the energy prices so the first solution I would uh, suggest is that uh, the first solution is that the, uh, the current trend of uh, growth of uh, energy consumption should be increased it should be downtrend and uh, the government should uh, 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 Educate, uh, education is should improve the education of the public about the uses of energy and its consumptions and the people who manage to change uh, in a way that it's, uh, it uh, reserves some energy for uh, you know as the uh, oceans uh, is made of problems of water if you save uh, some energy today uh, you can use it for uh, future use and the government should give us some uh, uh, private enterprises, some kind of loans to so that the private startup can uh, start up some energy company uh, which can uh, de uh, develop uh, an unconventional source of energy as like wind sources, uh, tidal energy, um, uh, solar uh, solar energy, biofuel energy and in a, uh, as a short term, in a short term uh, ener in, uh, energy supply. For long term energy supply you can uh, look for towards uh, research and development uh, where the government should uh, implement uh, more grants, more uh, institutions, more tie-ups. Uh, so again, it can uh, look for alternate sources of energy when the fossil fuels uh, gets dried up. And the other solutions I look upon is then uh, uh, the the so-called developing countries such as uh, India, Russia, uh, France, uh, sorry, uh, China, and Brazil, they should participate in uh, the uh, carbon emission uh, program. And uh, such as you must have come across a uh, uh, climate uh, accord of Paris. And uh, and the and other uh, developed countries, uh, this, uh, the Western France, uh, England, and Southeast Asian country should uh, shoulder upon and take initiatives on how to uh, 
pull the curb, how to reduce the torque in the emissions. And yes, uh, this could be helping in uh, counteracting energy prices. Depends, uh, yes, uh, and I would like to conclude that uh, is, uh, conserving energy is nothing but your attitude. And uh, it, it, it may uh, help other upcoming generations. Thanks so much. Thank you. Well, the speech was amazing, Mr. Shang. Uh, I would like to thank for everyone for listening to this amazing speech. And I hope we actually uh, do something to uh, combat this energy problem because we all know it's very, it's very serious and it could harm a future generation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I am here to the interviews. There are different brands and uh, they are different top 10 profits. Uh, these are SIM card profits and uh, these are the offers available of five different brands. First come Vodafone. Um, Vodafone cost is 100 rupees. And uh, we get a balance of 55 rupees along with 4G subscription, which is currently the fastest network in India. Next comes Reliance, which, uh, which has a 3G subscription, which costs 200 rupees approximately. Idea comes third, with 70 rupees so cheap, and it has a balance of 58 rupees along with a profit of 50 MB 2G. And 35, uh, 35 pesos per call, every call 35 pesos, only 35 Airtel. Airtel is the price of one car 100 rupees. But the shocking thing is that there is an offer available where you can get two cars for just 120 rupees. There is no balance available. But you can get 4G, 4G of 250 MB each up to 30 Mbps of speed. ASL. ASL also has an offer currently. And it has 80, 80 rupees for two cars which has 2G, 200 MB and 36 pesos per call. Thus, for internet, we should always prefer Vodafone and Idea. As a business people, want a, want immense internet connection and internet speed. Where Idea, uh, the Airtel, Airtel has a cost of 120 rupees and it also has a 250 MB uh, additional to it. But it, it, people always choose Vodafone because it is much cheaper with the services provided and whereas its network is much faster as compared to Airtel. The land, whereas, and it's not working, it's not, uh, it's currently on a loss right now. Because even if it has CG speed, it does not, it does not uh, provide such a good internet connection. Idea, it does not go with internet connection. And it is basically for a senior citizen and a children who just want to use the mobile for their calls. ASL, just like Idea, uh, just like Idea, is uh, another offer prevailing with 36 pesos per call. And it's also uh, just for senior citizens and the children. Thank you. I'm Nikhil Sawani. I'll be talking about the different uh, internet SIM card rates that uh, me and my friends had stopped for uh, just after lunch. So we went to a shop uh, which was a roadside stall for SIM cards and uh, it was right outside my door. And they were selling uh, Vodafone, Airtel, Reliance, Idea, ISL and Doku, Tata Doku. So we inquired about the rich and uh, the 4G, 4G net connection was available only for Vodafone and Airtel. So Vodafone and Airtel, sorry, were the ones who were offering 4G services for 1GB data. And the cost for that was 297 for Vodafone and 250 for Airtel. And the validity was 60 days for both, that is two months. So review wise I would say these two were costly. But at the same time offered high speed connection since they were fully. And the rest all, that is Reliance, Idea, SL, and Tata Dukoma offered BG services. Each ranging, each costing uh, about 150 rupees. So the last was 197, idea was 197, 150. Uh, 
and the validity for each one of them was one month each. And uh, data was two G. One G. One G. Now, uh, amongst these, I think Reliance offered one special service that was after the use of one month, their charges were cut down to 123 a month. So that was one additional feature of Reliance. So if I were to choose between them, of course, 4G would be the reasonable ones. It is not reasonable, but uh, preferred ones. But since they were costly, amongst the 3G, I would choose Reliance. Because after a uh, usage of two months, after the user one month, the cost would go down to 120. That was like their promotional tactics. So for me, I think Reliance would come number one amongst users. The rest three was similar. But if you look at the uh, range wise and connectivity, I think ASL is good. Network connectivity amongst the four. And if you want to choose amongst the 4G company, I think Vodafone is great. So that's it. Thank you for hearing me. I would like to speak to you on all different companies and which preferable uh, network you should use. So there, is, there, there we go. First we will be using the most, uh, the best mobile network for all, of all companies, that's Vodafone. We have, uh, uh, Vodafone just la launched the 4G network in January and it has been having some rave reviews. Uh, they, they provide with 4G uh, at the cost of 300 rupees, that's 299. And they provide 1 GB and uh, with a validity of 30 days. The reviews have been very good, but some claim that the 4G gets turned off very frequently in some places as the network hasn't been uh, that exploited by the, uh, it's still upcoming in uh, many cities and uh, villages. So the, the reviews have been good, but there, there have been uh, common disruptions in the 4G network and it turns, to be a, it turns out to be having the speed of 3G. We will move on to the next, uh, this, that is Airtel, which is one of the most fastest uh, network, uh, which is coming to beat all the Vodafone, uh, Reliance and all these big, big companies. Even they have, uh, they were the first ones to start with the 4G network. At the cost, at the very economical uh, price, less than Vodafone, that is 250 rupees. Even they provide 1 GB and their validity is the same as Vodafone, that is 30 days. The reviews have been pretty good, but there is this common problem which Airtel has been having uh, since many years, that is uh, poor connectivity. They always, they, they always have const constant 4G, but some of the other places uh, like near the lifts, like near some places where the satellites aren't that great, the connections uh, decrease. Then we move on to Reliance. They still are uh, working on the 4G network, they still just provide 3G, which is at a very economical price because they have to give the competition to the 4G, Airtel and, Airtel and Vodafone. So they give us 3G at a rate of 125, that is 1 GB, with a validity of 45 days. They have been, they have been having superb network, but still uh, 3G is never better than uh, 4G. We are uh, moving on to the last uh, company that is Tata Docomo. Uh, 
Then they provide with uh, us with 3G at a, at the price of 150. I'm still not finding the reason behind the 150 because they have, they have, they don't have a pretty good network and le they have less satellites and less number of users compared to uh, the three companies above them. They are also trustworthy because of the less number of users. I conclude to say that of all these best, these are the best economical uh, uh, plans which these four companies have to provide for the users which are, uh, con con uh, they, they are particularly looking for a data plan. And I would like to conclude that I feel that Airtel is the best plan because it's a it's a upcoming company which have been uh, having some uh, great net prices because of their uh, 4G network. They they were the first ones to introduce 4G uh, in our in our country, and they have been having super they, they have been giving super competition to the uh, world's best claimed uh, India's best claimed. Network company that is Vodafone. It's it's a, it's pretty economical. That is 250 rupees, which is some 50 bucks less than uh, the Vodafone they provide with the same uh, the same uh, net usage, as well as the validity of the, the of the network is 30 days. Airtel has got a great point over them because they have an upper hand over Vodafone because there's a there's a other uh, plan which they add up to this 4G. That is after you're done after you're done with the 1 GB. You can uh, you can still uh, search you can still browse uh, with uh, with this network at a speed of 2G. That is unlimited. So for all the users who have been using net, Instagram, WhatsApp a lot, this is the this is the best preferred plan. So thank you guys for hearing all my reviews. As a very business afternoon. Uh, and I would like to show you some of the, the new plans uh, that for the uh, network we have. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, Airtel, Vodafone, Reliance, IBM, and Dutch uh, for You can see uh, the present markets uh, have all these networks and competitions. The ones which show the highest competition is Airtel, uh, which claims uh, the fastest speed. So, I no, I mean, uh, they, they, uh, most of the common uh, validity we want is added to the one days for uh, 31 days. And the cost is pretty high compared to other networks. Like, uh, for 4G, it's a uh, Forty-two rupees. Then three G. Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? And memory comes with one GB. And the and, and the common use that have can happen in the general public is pretty fast. Uh, really fast. And we also have Vodafone, uh, which is one of the uh, favorite. Everyone's. Uh, uh, common lighting for the networks and uh, as the rate uh, of the network is pretty cheap and more affordable, people prefer it. So the race structure goes as uh, uh, 21 days and the plan is either 3D, mostly it comes in 3D and for the power structure. Or two G. That's part of it. Because uh, people uh, tend to look for uh, economical uh, alternative. And the costing comes to around three G. Comes to two hundred fifty nine. And for two G. Comes to one twenty five rupees. And then for the capacity is one G. One G B. And the, 
speed is pretty decent. After crossing 500 MB, it goes around 20 degrees per second. Depending on the cross, you can have the speed control. So it's like normal. So another very prevalent network from since long year, long years, we have the lines which were. Uh, one, of, one of the most prevalent uh, network which has uh, attracted a lot of customers because of these very uh, attractive plans. And normally they have in terms of months, like uh, three months or six months. And, and they have a very small, like, Coming from 2G to 4G. Friends, as you can see, Freelance used to be very cheap, but to get a price of the but the price has gone up. So the price range goes start from 125 rupees and 245. To somewhere to 99. And uh, memory is going to be. And uh, as you can, have heard about the SIM card for lines, to be the SIM card glass in some of the phones. So uh, you can. Uh, you must have heard about CDMA card, which you can use for calling as well as uh, for uh, yeah. phone purpose. So Reliance has a uh, edge over our networks. So these uh, people who want to come to and idea, yeah, idea. Like uh, you must have seen more ads than you see a lot of products for educational, for uh, places like the uh, Terrania Security, where signal is not very. Uh, there is the problems uh, uh, kept carrying signals by signals. So the, the, the validity is uh, the same as the new ones. And they have come up with, they have also launched 4G recently. So the spectrum is 3G uh, and 4G. And they have increased the uh, uh, cost costing structure. From earlier, starting from 100 rupees, every uh, crystal holds 100 rupees. So let's talk to the rupees and the rupees. Near what? 2 rupees. And uh, friends are given only for 1 GB structure, as it is affordable range for the bottom hand. Very Good network. And flexible. flexible. This has been uh, very given by the uh, customers. And, uh, you, you must have heard about Adobe also. They're one of the very first competitors of the telecom company. And uh, the, the free SIM card and the uh, low cost were one of the main attractive points. So they also have a different kind of uh, uh, time range Stocking. and they Stocking. normally have 30 days, 28 days, and 3 months. And uh, till now they uh, have not launched 4G spectrum, they are still operating on 2G and 3G. So, cost range is not competition reliant. So, uh, the, I have the cost structure as 30 rupees for 2G and 3G, uh, 260 rupees. And the memory of all this is not Jenny. And uh, also, come on, let's come here too. Give me some idea. Idea.
friends uh, so uh, this uh, is Uh, and today I am going to review about the network companies and tell you about which is the best choice for you. First we will start with Vodafone. We'll be, today we will be talking about two months plan. 